African ants can recognize infected wounds and heal them. African ants of the species Megaponera annelis hunt exclusively for termites. But they don't give up without a fight. Therefore, ants often get injured while hunting. However, this species has developed a sophisticated care system. Ants can distinguish infected wounds and treat them with homemade medicines. Megaponera annelis ants can be found in Central and Southern Africa. They feed exclusively on termites. When scouts find termite nests, an army of at least 500 individuals gathers and sets out to hunt. But termites can defend themselves and use their powerful mandibles to do so. Therefore, ants often get injured while hunting. To deal with this, the ants develop their own health care system for their soldiers. They can distinguish uninfected from infected wounds and effectively treat the latter with antibiotics that they produce themselves. Behind the research is a team led by Dr. Eric Frank from Julius Maximilians, Universistat, JMU, in Würzburg and Professor Laurent Keller from the University of Lausanne. Scientists have been observing Megaponera annelis ants for years. In 2017, they published research in which they proved that these ants save wounded comrades after a battle. More on this topic in the text. Ants save wounded comrades from the battlefield. The new research was published in the journal Nature Communications. Chemical analyzes conducted in cooperation with JMU Professor Thomas Schmidt showed that the hydrocarbon profile of an ant's epidermis changes as a result of wound infection, says Eric Frank. It is this change that ants can recognize and thus diagnose the infection status of their injured companions. The ants then apply antimicrobial compounds and proteins to the infected wounds. They get them from the metapleural gland, which is located on the side of their torso. Its secretions contain 112 ingredients, half of which have antimicrobial or wound healing properties. The therapy used by the ants is very effective and reduces the mortality of infected individuals by 90%. Are Megaponera annelis ants really special in this respect? This is not known. A group of scientists intends to study wound care behavior in other ant species and other social animals. In cooperation with chemists, he also wants to identify and analyze drugs used by ants. This may lead to the discovery of new antibiotics that can also be used in humans. I don't know of any other living creature, except humans that would be able to perform such sophisticated wound treatment, says Eric Frank. These covers have medical implications because the main pathogen found in ant wounds, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, is also a cause of infections in humans, and several strains are resistant to antibiotics, adds Laurent Keller. Regular exercise has been linked to greater brain volume. A group of researchers have discovered a link between regular exercise and better brain health. According to them, physical activity is associated with the increased size of brain areas responsible for memory and learning abilities. It's safe to say that the list of health benefits of regular exercise grows longer with each new study. In recent work, researchers from the Pacific Neuroscience Institute Brain Health Center PBHC, at Providence St. John's Health Center and Washington University in St. Louis showed a relationship between regular physical activity and the size of the parts of the brain that are responsible for memory and learning abilities. Moreover, 
According to the study authors, physical activity does not have to be intense or long-lasting to stimulate the brain. The research results were described in detail in a publication in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease. In the study, scientists used magnetic resonance imaging MRI, brain scans of 10,125 people. People who said they regularly engaged in some physical activity, such as walking or running, had greater total volume of gray matter, which helps with information processing, and white matter. Researchers also noticed an enlarged hippocampus in these people, the part of the brain responsible for, among others, for memory and the frontal, parietal and occipital lobes. Our research confirms previous analyzes that showed that physical activity is beneficial for the brain. Exercise not only reduces the risk of dementia, but also helps maintain brain size, which is crucial as we age, said Cyrus A. Raji, lead author of the study. We found that even moderate levels of physical activity, such as taking fewer than 4,000 steps a day, can have a positive impact on brain health. This is significantly less than the often suggested 10,000 steps, which makes this goal more achievable for many people, added David Merrill, co-author of the publication. Although brain volume does not automatically equate to better functionality, it is often considered a reliable indicator of changes in cognitive abilities. This study did not detail how brain stimulation might manifest itself in people who exercise regularly. The impact of regular physical activity on brain structure remains unclear. Perhaps neurological function is stimulated by the way exercise improves blood flow throughout the body, including the brain, and increases levels of certain proteins that keep neurons healthy. This will have to be determined. Our research links regular physical activity with greater brain volume, suggesting neuroprotective benefits. This large sample study advances our understanding of lifestyle factors that influence brain health and dementia prevention, explained Samaya Maysami. As the authors point out, this study shows a simple way to maintain a healthy brain, be active. Whether it's a daily walk or your favorite sport, regular physical activity can have lasting benefits for our brain health. And this, of course, becomes even more important the older we get, because the likelihood of developing neurodegenerative diseases increases. It is believed that greater brain volume may help delay the cognitive decline that accompanies, for example, Alzheimer's disease. The world's heaviest flying bird uses plants to heal itself. Modern medicine is developing faster and faster. He often uses knowledge about medicinal plants collected by our ancestors. It turns out, however, that we are not the only species that knows herbal medicine. It's hard to prove, but the busted, the heaviest flying bird in the world, seems to be a good candidate for this. According to scientists, these birds use the benefits of plants to deal with parasites. The common busted, Otis tarda, is a really large bird. The weight of an adult male can exceed 15 kilograms and its body length can exceed 1 meter. This endangered species is currently the heaviest bird capable of flight. But there's something else that sets them apart. According to research conducted by Spanish scientists, these birds look for plants that contain compounds that kill pathogens. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Frontiers in Ecology and Evolution. 
Bustards may be a rare example of birds that use plants against disease. They are interested in specific plants because the ingredients they contain can help them fight various types of parasites. However, this does not happen without a specific reason. Mainly males are interested in these plants, and this occurs mainly in April, which is the mating season of these birds. As this season is quite exhausting for males, they need to strengthen their condition as much as possible. This is particularly important due to the fact that their immunity level may drop significantly at this time. At the same time, self-healing, males may seem more energetic and therefore more attractive to females. And since these birds tend to mate in the same places, protection against infections becomes particularly important. This happens due to, for example, defecating in the same area for a long time. These unusual birds are particularly interested in two plants, Papaba roeus and Echia plantaginium. The first of these names refers to a plant that is well known to us, as it is a field poppy. While the second one is an echium plant. Poppy seeds are used in natural medicine in three possible ways. They can be used as a natural painkiller, a sedative and to strengthen the immune system. Poppy seeds also contain certain nutrients, primarily rich in fatty acids. Paradoxically, the second of these plants could turn out to be poisonous if a person consumed too much of it. Although it is a good source of edible oils. But why are these particular plants important to them? Scientists decided to examine the chemical substances they contain, both water and fat soluble. Using gas chromatography mass spectrometry and liquid chromatography combined with mass spectrometry. They focused primarily on lipids, volatile essential oils and alkaloids that plants produce to repel animals. Then, it was decided to test the isolated substances on parasites found in birds, the protozoan trichomonas gallinae the nematode Meloidogen javanica and the fungus Aspergillus niger. The results of the conducted research initially confirmed that the bustards were right in choosing these plants. It turned out that in in vitro tests, extracts from both plants are effective in eliminating protozoa and nematodes. While the substances contained in echiums are also partially effective against fungi,